One of the things that's talked about is that after a person passes away, Social Security will give them something towards paying final expenses as a, as a lump sum payment. That is not exactly correct. You see, there's only a few different people that are actually entitled to a Social Security death benefit. That is a spouse, a minor child, or a child with a disability, whether they're still a minor, meaning under 18, or they're an adult and they can prove that they have a disability. That's it. Other than that, there is no death benefit from Social Security. So at the time of this video, there's talk about $255 that'll come from Social Security. That doesn't happen unless it's going to a spouse. So take, for example, hypothetically, a mother and a father, both parents pass away at the exact same time. There is no Social Security benefit to for either of them to the sibling, uh, to the children unless there's a minor and then there's a guardian that can help with the claim for it. That's it. The only thing that additionally is available is survivor's benefits, where if one person has it where they're already claiming Social Security, they're able to then take the higher value of it. So, for example, say one person's Social Security is $1,000 a month. The other one is, say, $1,900 a month. The person that passed away that had $1,900, um, the survivor, the husband or wife, can take over that survivor benefit and take over the higher amount. They can do that. And the way this whole process works is you file a claim with Social Security to let them know uh, that you're trying to take survivor benefits or lump sum payment capabilities. What happens is, is that you first make the claim, then they schedule a date with you to review over the details, make sure that you're able to fill out appropriate forms and documentation to prove who you are. During the first phone call while you're doing this, they ask you specific questions to guarantee that you are someone that knows the person in more detail. Not to go into all the details about that, but you know, things like, uh, parent, uh, maiden name, um, and other specific information that you would need to know in order to identify yourself as a specific person that is the survivor. Then you have it where an appointment is then made. They speak to you on the phone more, then they work with you to fill out the forms. Once the forms are then filled out, then a, then, then the lump sum payment is then transferred into the bank account or a check, depending on how you set that up. And if it's the survivor benefit takeover of the account, then that higher amount is then handled over the next month or so with Social Security. That's all that happens. So again, if say you're an adult child of parents that have passed away or a parent that has passed away, you are not entitled to that $255. That's it. So you need to be able to cover everything, not having to rely even on that $255 amount. You can find out more information about this on the Social Security website. I'll provide a link for this information in the description to this video. As always, if you found this information useful, feel free to like, share this video with anybody you think can benefit from this information and subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.